All right, let's get started. Happy Thursday, yes? Thursday. How's everyone doing? How's everybody's week been? I'm ready for some more Renegade Platinum, I think, hopefully. Hello, cats in a bag. How are you doing? Check your email. What's up, Jay Poss? How are you? Defiant Empoleon, hello. Search routine, hello. So okay at best. I've been sick with COVID all week. I hope you get better. I hope you stay safe. It's a good thing chat was in emote mode only yesterday. I wanted to cheat so bad. Yeah, I don't think it would have mattered if I'm being honest. That man is a very good map randomizer. Oh, you look like Lady Camden. Who the hell is that? I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Lady Camden. Drag race. Okay. Why? How do I look like this person? Whatever. I'm gonna take it as a compliment. They look great. All right. Thank you, Altered Oaks. I appreciate it. Oh. <clears throat> Can't wait for the next rando race. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, I'll have to figure out somebody to do that with, you know? Where are you, Silesian or Veilstone? I am in Silesian town. So it's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream today. Um, a little burnt out from yesterday just because I'm not used to streaming that long that many times in a row. So we're going to do a little bit of a shorter stream, plus I don't want to like rush through this. So we're going to go nice and, and slow here for this next part. Probably just get to Veilstone. We'll just go for a couple hours. And then I do want to do a, um, a ranking, a Pokemon ranking at the, uh, the end for YouTube. So we'll do that. Finally caught up on most of the YouTube Nuzlocke's excited to watch live. Thank you for being here, Red Knight. Can have, thank you for being here for the first time. I appreciate it. How's the run going? The run's going pretty well. It's fun. Last stream was a little bit rough. I had a couple mistakes that cost us some pretty bad deaths to lose, both of them being water types, and then also I didn't catch a Scyther because I crit it, so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah. Winged Raider, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that for four months. Thank you, thank you. Losing Chicken is rough. I think losing the Rotom is rougher. I think that's really, really rough. Because you were talking about it yesterday, if you lead an Intimidate Pokemon, it makes it less likely to encounter wild Pokemon. Does it really? Ah, nice. Nice, good to know, good to know. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so the the Rotom may may make this. There, there's the um, Ace Trainers, right? The uh, Ace Trainer Dennis and Ace Trainer the girl one, and they're pretty tough. And Ace Trainer Dennis has a Gyarados, and it also has a um, a Wakanberry. So we're kind of we're kind of in trouble there. I'm gonna have to figure out the best way to do that. I might have to set up with Arcanini again. Maybe do some Encore strats. We'll see. Um. But here's our box. It may make sense to kind of bump these guys up. But um, for now, I guess we can kind of just move along, yeah? We still have a lot of really good encounters. Uh, we're going to get Staraptor soon. Or now, I guess. That's nice. Um, yeah. But, uh, yep, yep, it's been fun. So let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, so we're gonna go to 210, I think. Really, really bummed about that freaking side there. Are there any people we have to fight here? Um, I wonder if they're avoidable at all. Um, uh, wait. what's up, Dane Ron Hill? How are you doing? Um, we'll lead Crobat. Crobat's a good lead here. Caesar would be broken. 
Maylene fight today? Probably not, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go nice and slow, and I'm also going to um, not go for as long as I might want to. Um, so this cowboy. What's this cowboy? Rancher Marco. He has a rapid ash. I don't know if I want to fight him. I mean, I got I got this. It's level 33. The Rapid Ash is level 33, and that Jogger has an Electrode. That's terrifying. All right. Well. Um. Okay. And these guys have Tauros and Miltank. I don't want to fight any of these people if I don't have to. Uh-oh. Furret and Lanoon. How scary is that? Probably pretty scary, right? That's useful, at least. What do Furret and Lanoon have? They're probably buffed. Hmm. Well. Furret has buffed attack, but not much else. A little bit more speed, but I don't really care about that. It's at 32. Okay, it's got Flame Wheel. It's got Zen Headbutt. Wow. Okay, good thing I checked that. And then... Um, the Lanoon, what does the Lanoon have? The Lanoon also has buffed attack and speed. Um, but nothing else really, and it doesn't have blah blah. Okay, so I think we can just go to Leiron here. And we can try attack the let's get rid of the lanoon i think <laughs> oh man some crits would be pretty scary here okay that's that's all right i guess on the the fur at least we targeted the right thing i hope this just one shots Follow me for it plus belly drum lanoon would be busted. Yeah, that, that I, I can see that being pretty bad, huh? <laughs> um, okay, it's rock slide and who's faster? Sneaky Lanoon. Amnesia again. What is this weirdo going for? Oh, is it trying to do like this reversal BS? That's okay though. Actually, that's kind of scary if that happens. Huh. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's reversal at 34, so theoretically, this should not have reversal. One would think. So, I think it's relatively okay to Ironhead here. And try attack. Yeah, okay. Nice. That did a lot of damage, even with two amnesias, huh? Okay. Crisis averted. That wasn't really a crisis, though.
I want this item. A life orb. Ooh, Red Sox or Yankees? Socks. Okay, um... Kind of have to say that. Okay, that's nice at least. So this person should just give me Roost. That's huge for Crobat. If there's one thing I know about you, it's that you're a Sox fan. True. You think I'm a Yankees fan instead? Alright. Um. Whee! Okay. Okay. You're not a fan of anything? That's rude. I'm a fan of things. I like things. Hi, Mati. I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. I think I have watched every video. This is the first time I've caught a uh, stream. I'm excited to watch you play this ROM. Sick team, by the way. Thank you. What is this? Joe needs water. We'll go get some, buddy. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, Flagon, did you hear about e-girls not wanting to be called e-girls anymore? Apparently, they now wish to be referred to as i-ladies. Oh, i-ladies nuts. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Um, let's go up here. Hat? All right. Well, Tante, that was a trash-ass uh, D's Nuts joke, but I appreciate the sub for three months. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, we don't need to do any of this, so it looks like we're on Route 215. We made it to Route 215. That guy looks unavoidable. So the question here is, what do I want to do... For this encounter so i can either likely get cadabra hold on hold on so if i if i do repel manip i can get cadabra up to 45 percent and it's either hypno or lickitung or i can roll it for meryl drowsy lickitung cadabra mightyana lanoon hypno so there's some interesting stuff here. Poke Radar Absol. And then in the Honey Tree, I could just go for a Honey Tree and I get either Apom, Vigoroth, that's 50%, or Metapod Kakuna is 40%, or Munchlax, 10%. So I don't know, I don't know how good any of this, like is Alakazam any good in this game? It's fast, but it's obviously really frail, so it's kind of hard to switch in. Mightyana would be a nice intim. Um I'm, I'm not sure. I don't really know. Can you tell from which site you downloaded Heart Gold? I No, I can't tell you that. Azumarill is cracked. Yeah, if you get huge power. I don't think I've ever used Drowsy Hypno ever in a Pokemon game. Hi, TJ Yodaberg. How you doing? You have the Master Docs with the Mon updates. If not, I can send them. Uh, you mean like the ones that update like the how they're buffed and stuff? I have that. Kadabra has teleport. I can always taunt it, but then I guess we're risking a psychic. Uh, that's kind of bad. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've got those. I appreciate it though, Moxie. Or Miss Moxie. Toga Party Trev, thank you for the follow. And Name Manor, thank you for the follow. You have a little break? Well, thanks for stopping in. Um, Hypno is the Palkia of standard Pokemon? What does that even mean? 
Is there a way to change abilities in Red Plat? I don't believe so. So the question is, um, I don't think Kadabra can teleport. The Kadabra would be at level 27 to 30. So what is what is Wild Kadabra now? Kadabra. Yeah, it would not. It would have Miracle Eye, Nightshade, Disable, and Psybeam. So it wouldn't it wouldn't be able to teleport. In fact, it would be able to do very little into Umbreon, so that's relatively safe. So the question is, do I want to go for the Honey Tree encounter, potentially get Snorlax, or Slaking, or Apom even? Technician Apom's not terrible. Or do I want to try and get, like, either, I don't know, Kadabra, Drowsy, or Lickitung? I guess that's the question. Is Drowsy buffed? Miss Moxie, have you done uh, Veilstone? What are the odds of Lax in the Honey Tree? 10%. But if I do one here, then I might be able to get it in Honey Trees later. You have not yet? Okay. I'm just wondering how useful like a Psychic type would be for... Uh, what's your name? Uh, Maylene. Hypno did not get buffed. So Hypno is kind of dog. Wow. Hypno didn't get buffed. Yeah, Maylene. Honey tree. Yeah, Hypno didn't get buffed. Um, Alakazam, what are we looking at here? Alakazam. Um... I mean, Strong Psychic is pretty nice, but I fear that playing around crits is going to be really hard to even bring it in ever. You know, it's like so flimsy. Whereas Snorlax would be real nice. And I'm sure Butterfree and Beedrill have some useful things. Plus, we could always sack it. And I feel like Vigoroth, Slay King would be gross. Uh, Apom would be good. All right, we'll, we'll do a honey tree here. Why not? You know? Why freaking not? Um, I, Do I have queek balls? I think I have queek balls. No, but I have great balls, so it's the same thing. Um, Okay, so I think we lead Leleron here. Although Leleron did freaking kill our last guy. Chances of getting Slay King are 20%. Um, whoop Doopity, thank you for the follow. And Socio Sai, thank you for the follow. Vigoroth doesn't have a ground type move. Um, does Beedrill have Drill Run? Yeah, but not until level 34. Okay, let's go, let's go with Salt here. Oh, wait, wait, but it's a Kakuna. Okay. We're going to try this. You said my name perfectly wrong, but I cannot be mad about it since you say every name wrong. So true, bestie. All right, let's, uh, let's get one of these. Oh, no, we don't have honey. Do I have to go all the way back to Floroma Town to get honey? Or can I pick it up from somewhere else? Yeah. Is that worth it? No. Especially because we almost have fly. Fine. All right. Well, we'll we'll save this unless I accidentally run into something, which is probably pretty inevitable. But whatever. We'll leave this for now. So let's go to route two. What is this? Which route is this? Route two fifteen. Is Ruin Maniac Calvin has a Marowak and a Rampardos? Are you kidding me? Rampardos. Did you get buffed? You did not. So we should be able to outspeed both of these and kill with uh Slippy Slippy Dog over here, yeah. I'm not going to count Lost Cow uh, Lost Tower because it's technically not different from 
the uh, the chancy encounter, unfortunately. It still says like whatever route it's on, and so that's what we're going to be using it from. 60 speed. I believe that outspeeds Rampardos at level 33, right? Even if it's Jolly, it does. Great. And what's the other one? Marowak? Yep. And so my Lodic with Scald in the rain should guarantee one-shot these things, yeah? Alright, this feels relatively safe. Did I go to the daycare yet? Why? What's at the daycare? <laughs> Alright. I mean, who knows anymore? Wait, 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 wait. And this 100% kills Rampardos, that's for sure. Like, unless they have focus sashes. Do, do things have random focus sashes in, in here? We're not, we're not going to do EV training for now. All right, Calvin. <clears throat> Who did I choose as my starter? It was um, Turtwig. Oh my god, Aaron Brennan, thank you for the four months, but you definitely just doomed Leleron, didn't you? Leleron is screwed. Yeah, I'm I don't want to go and do EV training. We're we're going to try and do this without EV training. Otherwise, it's pretty busted. Okay. All right, Black Belt Derek and Black Belt Gregory have a Combuskin Primeape, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. That's a little scary. Leleron isn't water type, he'll be- ooh, run. Okay, so that's a Jogger. Jogger Scott has a Staraptor. All right, Jogger Scott. Um, yikes, that's big yikes. Does Staraptor still learn close combat at level 40? How do you even, how, how am I supposed to beat Staraptors? I don't, I just freaking lose. Joggers only battle in the morning, even in this game? Even in this game? Okay. Still gonna, still gonna pretend as if they will fight me, you know? Uh, does this guy fight me or does he give me something? I feel like he gives me fling in the, the old games. An item. Yeah, okay. Kind of not really worth it. We're never going to use payback. Well, maybe. Maybe with Umbreon. I don't know. All right, so, shit. Black Glasses is guarded by Black Belt Get Gregory. So the guy in the top right is Black Belt Gregory. He's the one with Primeape and Hitmonchan. I don't want to fight that right now. I would rather fight the Combuskin in the Hitmonlee because Hitmonlee has trash defense, so I'm pretty sure Aerial Ace from Crobat will just kill it. And we obviously outspeed, or I don't know about obviously, but... 77 attack with Aerial Ace. I, that's gotta kill. Hitmonlee at 33. Oh, it's at 34, whatever. And Crobat... 
34 has aerial ace, yeah. Uh, okay, that actually doesn't kill. Uh, expert belt? Well, it could kill. But what does Hitmonlee know? Know anything? Probably knows Rock Slide or Thunder Kick or some shit, yeah? Actually, no, it knows nothing. <laughs> this thing's dog crap. Okay, um, what about Combuskin? Man, Crobat is not a not a very strong Pokemon, is it? I finished my first Nuzlocke a few months ago. It was Platinum with your normal Hardcore Nuzlocke's rules. Plus, at Gym Battle, I'm only allowed to have as many Pokemon as the Gym Leader. Making official fights is just a little bit harder. Congratulations, name Manor. Or Namanor, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. But congrats. I have never played Renegade Platinum. How is the game so far? It's really tough, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I mean, our team's kind of weak to fighting types here, but oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. She's a fairy type in this game. I forgot. Um, I think, I think we don't ever need hypnosis anymore on this thing. Ah, I don't know if that's true, but I can switch between gleam and, uh, well, whatever. Okay. We don't even necessarily have to fight this person, although... It might behoove me to do it while I'm here. So that, like, it's out of the way, you know? I will have to go back and forth quite a bit here. Um, do, 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 do. We don't kill this Muskin. But I feel like it'll just go for bulk up or something. Um. I'm just worried that it, this has something secret, you know? It's got Reckless. Does High Jump Kick boost, or does Reckless boost High Jump Kick? I mean, it just, it can't really do anything to me unless it has Rock Slide. It can't do anything to Crobat though, right? Like, probably fine. I don't know. I'm using Renplat specific calcs. High jump kick is 130 base power. Well, yeah, but I didn't know that. But it's still into... We times two resisted or times four resisted or whatever. Oh my god, this Combuskin has speed boost? Good thing we are a um, Crobat, huh? First time, first time joining a hardcore Nuzlocke stream. Thanks for being here, another random here. Appreciate it. How long have I been live? Exclamation mark uptime will always give you that, I believe. About 40 minutes. Oh wait, I was like, it's faster than me. Interesting. Nice, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Good, good, good stuff. Um. 
So there's a black belt Nathaniel with a Machoke and a Hitmon top. That sounds freaking horrifying. Um... Did I miss anything major? No, not really. Okay. Razor Fang. Wait a minute. That's what I need for... That's what I need for Glysaur, right? Woo! We got Glysaur! Uh, okay... Okay, so that guy's avoidable. Nice. Okay, so now we are at... Um... Ah. Oh, Razor Claw. Nice. Hyper Voice. Ooh. That's good for... Something. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So we got these two freaking ace trainers here. We don't have to fight that guy. Alleluia. We already fought that guy. So we are fully safe here. Let's just make sure. Uh, we don't want to fight that guy on accident, but other than that, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good Out of them one at a time. Uh, yeah Yeah, we're gonna do that Okay, so let's just do this and here. Okay, so ace trainer Dennis has a Gligar a Gyarados and a drift blim. I have no idea what um what their moveset is. But presuming they're really good movesets because they're ace trainers. Oh, wait. This isn't the Gyarados with Wakanberry. Oh, uh, that's what Crash Your Wake. That's what I was freaking out about. Yeah, Crash or Wake's Gyarados is, is terrifying, but this Gyarados might might not have a Wakan berry. Does anybody know? Ah crap, where's uh where's Moxie or um Drew? They don't have items? Okay. That's good to know. They are level 35 though. So all we need is a Pokemon with a Ice move and a Thunder move. Drift Blim has Destiny Bond. Hell yeah, it does. Good for good for him. Good for her. Drift Blim level thirty-five. So it can know Air Slash, Amnesia, Shadow Ball, Spit Up, Stockpile. That's fine. Chancy, Chancy's fine. Chansey takes care of that. Um, Gligar at 35 has what? Um, X-Scissors, Screech, Cross Poison, U-Turn, Slash, Faint Attack, Bulldoze, Wing Attack, Knock Off, etc., etc. Um, also, we should evolve this Chansey, huh? No. Somebody... If there's any mods in chat, make exclamation mark shiny and just make it say, no, the Roselia is not a shiny Roselia. It's just sick. I don't know why they they chose that one for its thing. It's just a sick looking Roselia. Do you get toxic TM yet? No, not yet. Um, I feel like our Gligar hurts their Gligar quite a bit. But the problem is... I want to be able to... Wait a minute. Porygon. That's my whole thought. So... Hmm. Huh. 
Um, I don't know. Are there any hidden abilities in this ROM? No, but some of the abilities are different. My Lodic probably destroys Gligar, right? Potentially. Yeah, yeah, so I can evolve Pikachu. The problem is I have to figure out a way to get Pikachu into the Gyarados safely, and since it's raining... Eh. Um, so that's kind of bad. What's up, Juicy Bussy? <laughs> Raichu probably OKOs Gara and Blimp. Yeah, probably, but maybe it doesn't. Also, Blimp is, is not an issue with Chauncey here. Um, what am I preparing for? I'm preparing for the uh, Dennis and Maya fight. I mean, the Maya fight seems pretty easy. Gardevoir and Roserade are probably walled by Chansey or Blissey, unless it has Psy Shock. And Lickitung... I don't know, we can probably wall that pretty well with the, the Gligar. So... So maybe... Let's see here. Encore Togekiss. Do they... Do you have to do a double battle? I feel like you can take them on one at a time, right? You can fight them one at a time. Cool. I, I didn't know if maybe they were like, nah. Nah, fam. Um... Okay, let's do Dennis first. We don't have any ice types. It's not super easy to take on this Gligar, but if we have Glysaur with Poison Heal... That's kind of fine. Like we can just slowly whittle away at it, you know? Um, so it's really just trying to figure out how to safely get the Gyarados in. If Glysaur is f slower than Gyarados, I can U-turn to bring in the Pikachu safely. Oh, but if it's slower, it's just going to hit us with a stab waterfall, so that would be pretty, pretty busted. Um, Milo and Rain is probably really good for Gligar. Yeah, that's probably true. I'm just worried that Gyarados comes in and fucks it up. But I guess we could we could um we could burn the Milo. Bayleaf Meganium. I just I don't know what this Gyarados knows. It would be so nice to know what this Gyarados knows, you know? Does anybody like does it know Dragon Dance? It shouldn't. It learns Dragon Dance at level 38. Right? So at worst it probably has like Aqua Tail or Waterfall. Ice Fang, probably. Aqua Tail, Ice Fang, Crunch, Bounce. Okay. That's actually not that scary. Because Milo walls that real hard. Like, real, real hard. Especially if it's burned. Don't you have trainer docs? I have trainer docs, or, like, I have the docs that were provided to me, but they don't have all the information about every single Pokemon. They just have detailed information about, like, the main battles. Rotom Wash would have been ideal for this. Hey, thanks so much, Rahuli. Really appreciate it. I'm feeling bad already as is, you know? Swift Swim Armaldo is pretty gutted, yeah. The problem is that, um... I mean, Swift Swim Armaldo would be really good against Drift Blim, maybe. No, 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 no. I mean, it is... That, that is good. It'll outspeed and everything. But if we don't... If we're, we can't one-shot the Gyarados, the Gyarados is just going to return with a, a water move and kill us, you know? 
Sleep Powder Roserade. No, I mean, if anything, we'd, we'd spore it, yeah? Small Ant one. That's not a shock, though. Okay, so, um... So I think Burned Milo and Poison Chorizo do good work here. Umbreon? Um... Let's, let's leave Umbreon on the bench for now. Let me just think about this. Arcanine is almost completely useless here, so that's good to know. Leron, not very useful either. I guess maybe into Lickitung. What the hell does Lickitung know? Does it have like roll up, roll out strats? Roll out strats? Uh, it's got magnitude. Zen headbutt. Okay, okay, that's that's not that scary. But um, that's that's later. Sorry. Let's focus on the uh, the problem at hand. So this Milo, if we can set it up, probably walls everything. Um, we just got to make sure we don't, like, Destiny Bond. We don't Destiny Bond the Drift Blim. So that's why we have Hypnosis. And the other issue is that we don't really... We don't really have an easy way to do damage into Gyarados, but we have Recover. So as long as we're outpacing it damage-wise, we're probably fine. Um... Is there ever a play where it's better to do this at once? No, I don't I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so we burn this and we poison that. Wait, wait, wait. Gligar is not even useful here. Honestly, Milo kind of single-handedly does this. We just need to, to deal with the, the Drift Blim, but you can deal with Chansey here. I feel like it's these two Pokemon. That's really all that matters. Un unless does the Drift Blim have something to that can hit it can hit Chansey with? I mean Chansey doesn't have a way to hit it, but we can always just uh, stall it. Unagi walls Gyarados, yes. So what does the Drift Blim have? Destiny Bond, probably Air Slash, Shadow Ball, and like Minimize or Calm Mind or something. Yeah, Shadow Ball, Air Slash, D Bond, Amnesia. So we can totally stall it out of Destiny Bonds. Um, or we could even taunt it, but there's not a really easy way to taunt it. Maybe with Crobat. So we definitely bring Crobat. It's fast. Um, we can also Fake Out. And presumably it has Unburden, but actually Unburden wouldn't matter. I guess this, the, the, the Glysaur, or sorry, the Gligar, Gligar does not have Sword Stance, does it? Do we have a Phaser? Do you mean a Passer? P2 seems good for Drift Blim. Yeah, good point. Can P2 learn Taunt? I feel like P2 can learn Taunt. Uh, I don't think there's any mods, so I'll do a prediction here. Um, we'll do Deathless Ace Trainers. I don't think it gets taunt. Mm. Alright, so if we want P2 here... Um, And Gligar has what? Wing attack, X scissors, brick break. Yeah, okay. So Milo Milo will just one shot that. Um It's Poliwag Swift Swim. No, it's water absorb. Which turns into Drizzle Politoed, but that's not super useful right now. I mean it does give us safe water free damage or whatever, but. Um So really, like, these two kind of do everything. Um, 
I guess we can bring Mask to lower Gyarados' defense if we need to, but I think honestly even... Like a, a crit will just kill this thing, so it's kind of stupid to bring that. I can't kill a water type if I don't bring it, you know? Um... Meganium's nice and chunky, right? Alright, let's bring Cheese. I think these are the, a good six for Dennis. This takes care of Gligar and Gyarados. My one fear is that Drift Blim comes in first. So then I have to go to Chansey. And then I just have to hit Sing a couple times. It's Gera lead? No, it's not. It's Gligar lead. Is it not? This says that it's Gligar lead. Yeah, it should be Gligar lead. But what does Gyarados have? It's got Aftermath. Hmm. Okay, are our Gara counters okay? See, the thing is, I think I want to keep... I think I want to keep Aqua Ring, Hypnosis, and Recover on this, so we're just going to whittle away at it with Scald here. Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can actually check if it's Aftermath or Unburden. I, it's probably... It's probably Aftermath. Yeah. No, no, no. It's Unburden. Unburden is first, so it should be... It should be Unburden. So that's nice. Um, and the Gligar doesn't have a poison move for Unagi, right? It's got wing attack, something else. Wing attack, X scissor, brick break. Yeah, yeah, so wing attack is, is the most damage it can do. It's aftermath in the main series. Yeah, but they switched it. Um, okay, so... We don't have we don't have no other water resistances other than this. So I'm just trying to think if like we get really unlucky and Gligar gets like a big crit or something, I probably want another water resist. Honestly, it might make sense to bring Poliwhirl. What about Arbok? What the hell is that? It might make sense to bring Poliwhirl. Um who's not really doing anything? I mean, Low Punny and Crobat. Crobat's not doing that much. Low Punny is kind of useful. Golduck. Oh, uh, we could bring Golduck. Is Golduck Swift Swim or is it, um... <laughs> Damp? That's dog shit. I mean, maybe that's good somewhere. That doesn't change into anything. I thought... Oh, uh, Golduck is its hidden ability. Golduck. Um, but I think, I think bringing Poliwhirl, wait, sorry, what were, what were, um, Gyarados' moves? Aqua Tail, Waterfall, Bounce, and Ice Fang, right? Crunch. Aqua Tail, Ice Fang, Crunch, and Bounce. But Aqua Tail's like predominantly going to do the most damage, especially into Unagi. I mean, into most things. All right, let's look at Pikachu. Maybe P does Pikachu by any chance get Bounce? I mean, uh, Thunder early at thirty-nine, but no. Okay, and Raichu learns nothing by level up. 
but we can get Thunderbolt at least. Okay, I think... No, 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 no. We definitely... So basically, it's either Golduck or Poliwag. So the idea is that Poliwhirl gives me Water Absorb. What if you evolve Swablu? That's not terrible. Not a terrible idea. Yeah, crunches two times on Golduck. But basically, it would just be G be baiting a non-water move. Um, but I guess that doesn't really matter much, does it? What level does Swablu evolve into Altaria? If it's not 34, then I don't know if I can use it. Because we're trying to we're trying to match levels here. Rel oh, it's 35 actually. We can get up to 35. I think Altaria evolves at level 35, right? Umbreon Toxic stall. We don't have Toxic yet. But Umbreon doesn't doesn't survive a crit Aqua Tail. No, no chance. Alright, we can bring Altaria. That's a good resistance, I guess. Let's say, hypothetically, HGSS had actual level scaling. Would you like the games? Sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does this have Cloud9? Okay, this is 100% the play, then. That's amazing. Um, And I think we get rid of... We get rid of either Lopunny or Crobat. Um, what does Lopunny serve? Really just fake out... You can't reliably switch it in. Yeah. Okay. Low punny, you are chilling. Altaria is Dragon Fairy in this game, I believe. Watch out for Ice Fang, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's do this. What's my level cap? Up there, it's 39. But technically, we're going to do 35. So that we stay relatively even with um, the each of the little ba bosses. That may This may be a little bit, like, unnecessary. But, um, oh, wait. You know, the other thing we need to do is we need to... Whoops. We need to um, make this chancy like me real quick. So we could either walk back and forth, or I could do it the fun way. Mobutt, thank you for the sub. Um, I really appreciate it. Oh, whoops. Uh, this one? All right, Chansey, time for you to love me. Hada, hada, hada. Let's look at this thing. Wow, that's okay. Zero speed, great. All my Pokemon suck. Actually, this Porygon's filthy, jeez. Holy crap, look at this Porygon too. Where did I even get this? Was it given to me as a gift? Return a galactic building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. P2 popping off. Uh, this is pretty good, too. Well, eh. All right. Anyways, uh, let's bump up my uh, our candies here while we're at it. All right. So if you're new to the channel, the only time that I use PK Hex is to cut out annoying things that take a long time on stream. So for example, um, like what we just did was we cut out the time needed to sit there and make Blissey like me or make Chansey like me so that it evolves into Blissey. Insane Porygon, I know, that's wild. Let's hope it doesn't die. Why am I running Lucky Punch? I'm not, it's just that's, I actually caught it with a Lucky Punch. So, um, that's why. Mm 
Maylene is next. No, uh, it's the ace trainers are next. But then after that is Maylene, I think. Um, all right. I guess I should check and make sure that Blissey can still learn moves when she's old. Yeah. Seismic Toss at 31. This thing learned Seismic Toss. That's ridiculous. That should be illegal. But yeah, I, I am going to abuse that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we cannot hit... Um, the Drift Blim right now. So we might have to, uh, did I get Shadow Ball? I had to have gotten Shadow Ball. Look at that HP. What a chunky Chunkerson. Getting ready for Big Dennis? I am. Any, uh, any last minute tips? Air Slash. Stop trying to make special Crobat happen. Am I using EVs? Not really. But I... Ooh, Moonblast. Wow, all these moves suck. Come on, Mayo. Refresh? No. Was just watching the start of this on YouTube and now you're live. Amazing. Awesome. Thanks for checking it out, Vitaro SSJ. Exclamation mark highlights. Go check out the highlight channel. Been putting a lot of work into that. It's been really fun. Just trying to learn the move Dragon Breath, aren't we all? Um Mr. Safeguard. I think safeguard's better. I think we'll probably get rid of the uh, that for um, Roost anyways, though. All right. All right, cheese. Agility? Um, I am going to... I am going to give you agility there, buddy. Just in case. Discharge? Ew. Wild charge? Wait. Yeah, it already knows Thunderbolt. Oh, Wild Charge is 100 in this? Lardy. Imagine having 75 base accuracy and having 80 base power. That's dog. Physical Pikachu. You know what we could do is we could get the Light Ball. Is there a command to find out what song is playing? No. It's just on a playlist on YouTube. Sorry. Um, light ball, physical Pikachu. Is that the strat? No, I think we just evolved this. <laughs> I think Pikachu is a little too slow, especially with zero speed IVs. Um, where's my Thunderstone? Where are my Thundy Stones at? I got two. Okay, cool. Sure. Isn't Wild Charge 85% usually? Yes, I believe so. Some, or 85, not 85%, but yeah. Oh, look, it's Chunky Raichu. Hi, Chunky Raichu. You're so cute. Good job, Chunky Raichu. Hey, now, Pichu has four speed EVs. IVs? I didn't, I didn't realize that. Do you have a rule regarding the Fossil Mons? Well, you can only use one of them, but you can pick which one you want to do. <clears throat> Uh, it looks like you just did. Thank you for the two months, Mobut. I appreciate it. Name theme idea. Name everyone Chubbs. <laughs> All right, let's 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 teach these losers some good moves here. Um, What do we got? We don't need Water Pulse. Can my Lodic learn Calm Mind? Uh, Chancey can, though. 
Neither of you guys, can any of you guys learn bulk up? That'd be cool too. Nope. Okay, what about twant? I'm not dealing with that damn drift blim. Do I have a way to kill the drift blim? I do not. Um, I'm just wondering if there's an easy way to kill the drift blim. We can always sing it. Mm. Twant? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want light screen. I don't care about that. Uh, psychic. Okay, so we're going to do Shadow Ball onto this one. We can always get Hyper Voice back, so. Break, break, we don't need. I wonder if Hyper Voice is any good on Altaria. Mm, rest might be interesting, but no. We will teach Altaria Roost. And Crobat can learn Roost too. Uh, Moonblast, blah, 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 blah. we don't need either of these moves. I don't think we really need safeguard. You gonna run minimize strats? Probably not, but I don't have anything better for it right now anyways. Probably gonna do toxic strats. Uh, we don't need thief. Do we want taunt on that guy? Eh. How many, how much PP does Destiny Bond have? It's just five, right? Do, 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 do. Uh, Drift Blim. Where are you, buddy? Wait, wait, wait. Gen 4. I'm just looking it up. Destiny Bond. Yeah, 5 PP. It shouldn't change, right? Yeah, okay. Um, Shadow Claw. You want Thunder Wave on anything? Thunder Wave kind of good on Egg. Oh wait, but then we can't use Sing. Eh. Meh. All right. What about Sword Stance? Got anything? Nope. Captivate. Uh, it's probably fine. All right. Oh, Dazzling Gleam. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, we don't need that. But hyper voice we might want on this one. I mean, not even, right? Like, Dragon Breath is just the same thing as Hyper Voice, and but it has a para chance. But do we really need pluck? Like, when am I gonna not be using Dragon Breath or Moonblast? Thank you for the hype train, Dara6, with two months via Amazon Prime, and Pharaohs with Prime as well. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I should not have kept Pluck. That was dumb. Okay, I think this is I think this is good. Um, Dragon Claw on Altaria. Wait, Altaria has higher attack than Special Attack. What are we doing? Is that just ter- Wh How? What? I see. It has the same attack and special attack. What am I talking about? Huh, okay, okay, Dragon Claw. It's gonna be sassy, but thank you. Nice, okay. So I kept Pluck on purpose. Its base stats are the same. Wow, that's a lot more. Um, okay, well then, screw Dragon Breath. Am I right? Okay, now we need to find a way to burn this Milotic. Um. Hmm. Is there an easy way to do that?
on a ra wild Rapidash, maybe? I'm sure some of these Lost Tower guys have, have stuff. How did you do it last time? Um, went to Route 206, I believe, but that's really far away. I guess it's kind of worth it, though, right? Man. All right, fine. We'll go all the way back around. We just got to kind of make sure not to kill anybody on the way there, you know? Just use PK hacks. No, that's cheating. That's cheating. There's a difference between using PK hacks to cut out t something that takes a long time but doesn't require skill, like walking back and forth, and something like burning it on a Pokemon that might kill you or whatever, you know? Especially if I have to dodge trainers to do it and everything, I, I don't like that. Yeah, I was on Route 206 last time. But that risks going past those people again. So I could do it in Lost Tower. I'm just worried that they might have, like, like a Shuppet? What does Shuppet have? Yeah, I'm planning on doing more ROM hacks in the future. It sounds fun. So a Shuppet shouldn't have... Okay, a Shuppet doesn't have Destiny Bond. I'm sorry, it doesn't have Mean Look. So it should be safe to bring... To just do it until Will-O-Wisp kills it. Okay, so we can just do it at Lost Tower against Shuppet. Okay. Great. Let's get those lefties. All right, so we definitely want lefties on Milo, Blissey, and probably P2, okay? Um, we want... I think, honestly, we probably want... I don't even know what we want on him. Oh, we have a choice scarf? Let's give him a choice scarf. I forgot about choice scarf. It's a good thing. Man, I have so many tools. You know? My tools are unstoppable. Maybe we should get more lefties. Oh, wait. The lefties are so useful. Uh... Okay, you, what do we give you other than a Yachi Berry? That'd be nice. Um, I don't know. This isn't useful. None of this is useful. Here you go. And you can have a Meganet. Where's your Meganet? Who took your Meganet? Who took Raichu's Magnet? YouTube videos have made many sleepless nights tolerable. Thank you, Zrock. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here for the first time. Hello, an incredible feat. I have a life orb. I do have a life orb. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty lit. Okay. Okay, we did it. Well, <laughs> we haven't done anything yet. Okay, let's go burn Milo here. Okay. All right. Here we go. How did Rotom die? Tragically. Um, screaming. 
Unami's gonna die as a water type somehow? Thanks, JPaw CC. I appreciate it. Sending positive vibes out there. I, I love to hear it. Alright, um, let's go burn this sucker. And then do the damn thing, yeah? How did the mansion double battle go? That's a massive run killer for me because of Barry AI. Uh, that may or may not have been how Rotom died. Can you find Pokemon down here? Yes. Nope. Looking for Shuppet. Okay, Shuppet. Make this easy, Shuppet. Hey, yeah, thank you. Shuppet made that easy. Okay, sweet. Uh, great. What's different in Renegade Platinum? Uh, there is a command that'll give you all the differences, I believe, but I'm not sure. Um, but a lot. There's a lot different. Suckers. Always does my heart good to rip off a couple of grade A suckeroonies like those two. Okay. Seeing the tower entrance actually lead into the tower feels wrong after catching up with the map, map race bod. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Let's do it. Right in time for the prediction to end, so I don't have to do anything. Let's go. Tauros. Okay. Woo! This isn't the best stuff into Gyarados, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, let's n remember to set up a repel here. That guy gives you a TM. Thank you. I got it. Um, okay, and up we go, and we can avoid the guy over there, yup, we can go like this, and then we can go like this, alright, so Ace Trainer Dennis is that coward over there, ooh, what's that? Okay. Huh. Okay. Okay. So we want to lead Milo here. Can you theoretically battle them separately? Yes, that is exactly what we're doing. Okay. We're going to battle Dennis first. All right, Rodman. I can cure the burn on my Milo. So true, bestie. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, wait. Since this is a little scary. All right, Dennis. Glygar. Leading Glygar in the rain. It's bold. It's bold, Glygar. Okay. You're gonna protect? I would love if you protect because we're just gonna Aqua Ring here. Darn it. How much does this do? LOL. Oh, crap. Milo's burned. Okay, so just serious note, though. Milotic is burned because of Marvel Scale. Gives it a defense buff. 
Okay. Denice the Menace. Okay. Oh, it's speeds here. <laughs> I hate you, Gligar. Remember the time that Barry's and Polion swaggered you and now it's come to this? Yeah. <sighs> Crustacean Invasion, thank you for the follow. Thank you for all the followers from earlier too. I was I was distracted. Dude! Run out of hypnosis, PP. It's okay. All good to those who wait. Shame Aqua Ring and lefties don't fully negate the burn. They do. The issue is that we're double protect. The issue is that burn goes after. I think I think they fully recover, right? 97 down to 83. Uh all right, well. It's okay. Patience. Patience. I mean, it's only got 10 PP of Protect, so it's like five down. Yeah, this is classic Pelipper strats. So true, Phoenix Legend. So true, Bestie. This is a nightmare. No, this is actually pretty relaxing. This is totally fine. Oh my God. All right, that's three hypnosis misses. Uh, I don't know, man. All right, Lodic, put your glasses on. Buddy, buddy. And we're never relying on hypnosis ever again. That's four hypnosis misses, right? It's a good thing that this thing is doing nothing to me. We'll just fucking stall it out. I don't care. All right, let's let me just double check and make sure that Aqua Ring is bringing. Oh wait, 105 up to. Oh, never mind. It's gonna go. It only gives me seven health back. What what useless crap? Aqua Ring is so bad. There you go. Good job. Good job, Unagi. Good job, Unagi. First try. You net even on HP? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we do net exactly even. All right. It'd be pretty cool if Gligar stays asleep here. If it wakes up and gets a crit, that kind of blows, but not much we're going to do about that. Aqua recovery is the same as leftovers? Yeah. Of course. Freaking course. A freaking course. So, that was useless. I wanted to land a hypnosis so that I was at higher HP for whatever comes in next, but obviously that didn't work. I guess I could have stalled it out.
Alright. Um, let's hope this doesn't do too much. It does have crunch, so eventually it'll start dropping our defense. Oh, perfect. Okay. And now what's great about the burn is that we cannot get paralyzed. <clears throat> um, is there any reason not to switch to Raichu right now? Can Raichu tank even a critical hit? Gyarados, 34. Raichu, 34. Bounce. Yeah, so bounce crit doesn't kill. I think we still might be able to get paralyzed in this game, but that's okay. Okay. If Raichu gets paralyzed, we'll just switch back. Uh... Forty-four defense and ninety-five HP. Let me just make sure this always kills. No, 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 this always kills. Okay, high, high, uh, a high roll if it's adamant. If this Gyarados is adamant. Oh, wait. Mm. If this Gyarados is adamant, then a high roll crit does kill this. Why is Raichu so frail? Um... When have I ever died to a crit? So true. But if it's not adamant, then then this never kills. Actually, that's not true. Even a high roll kills if it's not adamant. Damn, Raichu, you're fucking terrible. I guess we could hit a Hypnosis. Yeah, I think the play is to, is to try and go for a Hypnosis. I know we, it's failed us thus far. Actually, how much does this do to burn Milo? Maybe this does too much to Milotic. I, I can't imagine it does. 35? Ability. Wow, this is actually kind of always a bad play because Bounce does way too much to Milo. Milo. Kind of forgot about Bounce. If we had Protect, it wouldn't be an issue. Okay, so Bounce does like 68% if it crits on Unagi. Alright, I want to go for a Hypnosis here, I think. This Gyarados is naive nature. Well, doesn't matter now. But, um... Yeah, okay, so we were safe to crit there. But then it probably would have been random move. So if we missed Hypnosis, that would be... That would have been pretty bad. If it had missed, that would have been bad. No, because then we would have just recovered on the next turn and switched to Raichu on the next bounce, right? I guess Wild Charge is actually probably better there, right? I mean, hopefully this kills. I can't imagine it wouldn't. We have Magnet. <laughs> okay, phew. <laughs> Okay, so does this Raichu survive an attack from Driftblim? Yeah. 
Oh, wait, wait, this is my loading. Right you. Hmm. Not necessarily. Seventy speed death. And Yeah, okay, so this always always survives. Unless it's plus special attack. But do we just kill this? That'd be cool, right? No, we don't. But I think it's fine to, to hit here once. Because it's probably just going to go for Amnesia. This thing is a gentle nature? How do you know that? Well, whatever. Yeah, okay, see, we would have survived. Uh, great. Bye, good job, Raichu. Good debut battle for Raichu there. Good job, Cheese. <laughs> what a great name for a Raichu. There's a damage calc where it shows every trainer set. Really? Can you send it to me? Alright, that's one deathless. Got one more. Alright, back to the drawing boards, y'all. I got this from a Reddit comment. Jabril imported it with specific natures, but in reality, the AI can roll any nature, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, that's good to know. That sucks. Ah! Okay. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. We, we got we got that. Yeah, only the gym leaders have specific natures. Well, them and, like, the bosses, right? And stuff. Thought you were going to fight double? Oh, that's what you get for thinking wrong. Okay. Um, great. Do the joggers even fight you? Apparently, they only fight you in the morning. Because that's when joggers are not training or whatever. And... Okay. 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 So, this next person is Ace Trainer Maya. She's got a Lickitung, a Gardevoir, and a Roserade. Um, did I not click that thing you sent? Redeemed a stretch? All right. There is a stretch. Here, I'll stand up even. Oh. Oof. Hi, Poppy. Poppy's sleeping over there. She's so freaking cute. She really pissed me off on our walk today. But then she was just sitting there afterwards, and I was like, I can't be mad at you. Okay, so... Ace Trainer Maya's Lickitung has Body Slam, Zen Headbutt, Knockoff, and Aqua Tail. Jeez. Okay. Um, <sighs> Aqua Tail, of course it does. And then her Gardevoir, which should be able to die pretty quickly, has Psychic, Magical Leaf, Shadow Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. And Roserade has 
Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball, and Stun Spore. Yikes. Okay. So, um, but... Frickin' Chansey eats that alive. Same with Gardevoir. So, Blissey destroys Gardevoir and Roserade. Lickitung. So, Lickitung is our main issue. I wonder if Lickitung goes down to a fake out plus a, uh... Whatever. Like, from the low punny? What's up, Cliff Table Table? How you doing? Wait, what does it have? We can also kill with Altaria. Maybe. Body Slam, Zen Headbutt, Knock Off, and Aqua Tail. Wow, Lickitung's slow as shit. Okay, so Lickitung's kind of bad. Mm. Um. Oops. Yeah, Lickitung's really bad. Like, this doesn't even... Like, Zen Headbutt doesn't even kill our uh, low punny. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Giga Drain's kind of bad on Blissey. You can stall that out, though. Maybe not, though. Um, okay. Things are good. Okay. I didn't heal, did I? Nice. Okay, so maybe we keep... Milo burned. I mean, Milo's pretty good into the Licky Licky, yeah? With the burn buff? Matang? Yeah, Matang's pretty good, but I think Aqua Tail's really bad. Like in the rain? Can't really kill it very quickly. Well, Aqua Tail still not still not that much, but with Milo, that's probably even more so. Yeah, this is a joke. This like a tongue actually fucking sucks. Okay, so let's just so let's lead Milo. Um, kill that. Problem is that does bait out Roserade. It'll go for Giga Drain. Um, so I guess we can go to Crobat. It's just kind of scary if for whatever reason it does Weather Ball, but I'd imagine it would always go for Giga Drain. Right? Then we can just switch between Bliss... Because uh... the Crobat walls the, the Roserade real well, other than, for, other than the Weather Ball. So if we go to Roserade... Twenty-five. I wonder if... Does Crobat kill this with an Aerial Ace? And it also won't Stun Spore on the Switch. Crobat, 35, Aerial Ace. Mmm, just a little too weak. Mm. 
Weatherball crit kills. Can we set up Stealth Rocks? Yes. Well. No. There's an Aqua Tail. Unless can Matang learn Stealth Rocks? Um, I guess that's not enough damage for it to matter. Okay. Kill the first thing with Milo. Then Roserade comes out, either goes for Giga Drain or Sludge Bomb into the Crobat. Hopefully Giga Drain, which should just have 5 PP, right? That hasn't been changed. And it's got 10 PP. Okay. Also, this uh, this still has Giga Drain at 60 base power, this calc. Should be 75. Right? Wait, there's an easy way to check. That's good to keep in mind. Um, okay. U turn into Aerial Ace kills. So we can U turn into Chansey, switch back from Chansey into Crobat, kill. I think that's fine. Oh, wait. Unless... Mm, weather Ball is never... Wait, wait, wait. In Rain... Okay, Weather Ball allegedly is never better than Sludge Bomb or Giga Drain here. Oh, wait, but Giga Drain is 75. It should always go for Sludge Bomb. I guess that's, that is a little risky. But whatever. Okay. We have U-turn, right? No, maybe we don't. Maybe it was X scissors. Ah, damn. Okay. Hmm. Does AI calc weather ball damage correctly? I believe it does. Sludge bomb is 135, weather bomb is 150. Yeah, you're right. Damn. How do I deal with that? I mean, fake out plus return definitely kills the, um, the Roserade. Although, we probably don't have speed. So rose rate is 78. No, we have speed. We're like 80-something. Yeah, okay. Um... I mean, for the weather ball, I can always switch to freaking Altaria. But I don't really know what that accomplishes, because then... I mean, it guarantees Sludge Bomb, I guess. Let's just change this to Hydro Pump here. 100. 
yeah okay so this is this is better into blissey it does 20 to 23 percent in rain that's better than giga drain and sludge bomb okay so blissey baits hydro pump well not consistently it baits either hydro pump or high roll sludge bomb which is not great so what do we have for that um I mean, Blissey still goes in. We can always Thunder Wave it with Blissey if we want. Um, but I don't know if that helps. I don't really want to rely on Sing, especially because Blissey does not have good accuracy with Sing, or it doesn't have a recovery move. I'm using more candies. These ace trainers are literally the worst. Pretty tough. I can't imagine they're much harder than anything else in this game, though. Yeah, this, this doesn't do anything for me. Is there a way to set up? I could set up with Arcanine. But the thing has Aqua Tail, so never mind. Just thinking, like, extreme speed setup, but... Yeah, that that water that water is is brutal. Um, water poison. We don't have anything that properly resists both of those. Literally nothing. I guess masquerade maybe, right? No, bug doesn't resist poison. The tank takes neutral damage from water. Yeah, but I have extreme speed on Arcanine, so theoretically I could do that, but not with the Aqua Tail on the, uh, whatever. Torterra? Torterra takes neutral damage from both, but I don't think that that's that useful. Especially if we have to switch it in. It might be good to bring just as like a backup, but we're not out speeding, so we have to take a bunch of damage. Man, if the low punny could resist. Can low punny tank this? This hydro pump is so much damage. Um I don't think I don't think she can, but she does have pretty good special defense, so maybe let's let's check. Um No, no no no. In rain hydro pump crit guarantees a kill so does sludge bomb actually just straight out jesus okay um about i, I do have scarf on something That's tough. Masquerade pivot. I mean, I guess that guarantees sludge bomb, right? Life Orb Crobat could just sweep? I don't think so. I don't think Life Orb Crobat kills this. Yeah, it doesn't guarantee a kill.
It's really just the hydro pump. The fucking weather ball. That is a filthy strat. But the problem... Okay, so I mean, I guess the good thing about Crobat is that it does guarantee hydro pump. Um, I'm just, I'm saying Hydro Pump, I mean Weather Ball, right? But, yeah, I don't want to risk Crobat. Meganium also guaranteed Bates Sludge Bomb. So I have Crobat out. What's in my hand right now? Crowbat out, then switch to Milo. Pivot low punny, if it can survive crit giga drain. Fake out, switch to Milo again, and the Crowbat. It's not terrible. But if I kill the Milotic, or if I kill the Lickitung with Milotic, that should bring out Roserade. That'll guarantee Sludge Bomb or Giga Drain. Theoretically. We can go to Crobat. Or sorry, we can go to... Mm. The problem is that Milo is Fairy-type, so it baits potential Sludge Bomb or Giga Drain. In fact, it probably baits Sludge Bomb. So, um, I can't safely switch to Low Pony because Sludge Bomb kills. Um, but that's close. If I can guarantee Giga Drain. Then I can probably switch to low punny, fake out, and then shenanigans. So, like, for example... Like, what if we kill a Psyduck? I don't know. I mean, Golduck. Um... So, Golduck, it's guaranteed to Giga Drain. Then we can go to low punny. Giga Drain, Giga Drain can kill. That, ugh. Damn, this thing is so strong. It would have to be a high... Well, wait, wait, wait. What's my, what's my low punny's uh, situation here? 96, 73? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's spadef is like zero. So, I'll 10. Yeah, so Giga Drain crit actually almost always kills. So that doesn't work. <laughs> also, this thing has Stun Spore. This fucking thing, man. Um. But. Infernape. Mm, we don't have Infernape. We can get. You can get fake out damage with that. That guarantees the water. I wonder if Infernape survives Giga Drain. I mean, um... Monferno. Probably not. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. I am looking at crit gig... Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. 
Okay. 34. Okay, so crit Giga Drain never kills this Monferno. Potentially. So how much does Fake Out do to this? If we if we give it a Silk Scarf, Fake Out does. Let's 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 check this out. Okay, so thirty here. I can I can turn this on too. Can you see that? This is the Roserade we're looking at. So fake out here. He's at 52. Oh my god, he's terrible too. So that does about 15 damage, and then our Crobat. Aerial Ace. Okay, that'll, that should theoretically work, assuming it's not plus defense. So basically what I would do is I would lead with the uh the gold duck kill the alteria or sorry sorry kill the lickitung with the gold duck that would bait the roserade i believe unless it baits gardevoir mm, crap because of the psychic type i think it should still bait gardevoir or uh, roserade so roserade comes out then we switch to Monferno on a Giga Drain, then we m fake out it. Then we switch to a Water type on the switch. Because it'll use Weather Ball. Potentially Milotic. Actually, we can't switch to Milotic. Because Sludge Bomb... No, no, no. No, no, no. That's fine. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. The, the problem is that Sludge Bomb crit, it might also kill this Monferno. So it might just want to do that. Hydro Pump is way more damage, but if both get a crit, then it could just go for Sludge Bomb. But, um... Something like that. And then we can bring out Crobat and finish it off. This is freaking... Difficult. <laughs> we could also set up. We could also set up uh, stone stealth rocks. Stealth rocks is what six percent. So maybe that helps. So how does that look? If we go. Oh man, this is so hard. We don't have fake out from anything else either, right? The the Raichu fake out would be nice, but that doesn't even really matter. Breloom resists water, but and and grass. But that doesn't matter. Staraptor. If we can bait a grass move, maybe Staraptor can just kill. Although I don't think Staraptor outspeeds, right? No, 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 it should. When does Staraptor learn something that's not Aerial Ace? Straptor has more. Actually, Straptor might be the play. Straptor might be the play. If we can bait the Giga Drain. Giga Drain crit only ever does 61 to 73%. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, okay. 
And then Staraptor definitely kills with Aerialis, right? Oh my freaking god, it doesn't. Um, Expert Pelt. Okay, Expert Pelt, Aerialis kills if we have decent attack. We'll have to double check that, but let's see. Um, unless Staraptor learns Brave Bird. Nah, it's just Aerial Ace. But I think that's the play. I think that's that's the play. Does Breloom get acrobatics? Is Matang not good for Rose Raid? No, because it has Weather Ball with the. Uh, And it's perma rain. Okay. Something like this. Kill the, um... Ah, the Lickitung has a knockoff. We got the Blissey Manip? We did, yeah. Dude, I'm struggling with this damn Roserade on Ace Trainer Maya, but I think I've cracked it almost. to go in with no item but no item scald kills us like a tongue in two shots okay how's matang um the issue is that it's got the weather ball it's got weather ball in the rain It's like vintage white, they rarely quick weather click weather ball, really. So right now the idea is to bake Giga Drain with Foie Gras, switch to Staraptor, and kill. Let's evolve these guys and just look at them, I guess. Don't quote me on this, but it sees Weather Ball as 50%. It's way safer to do that strat, though. You got it? Yeah, okay, interesting. How was it to finally streaming with Small Ant since you said you would have liked to stream with him? Yeah, it was really awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was an honor. Um. Okay, so it thinks that it has 50 damage. Are there ever Endeavor strats? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so if it sees if it sees rain all the time, that's actually even better, right? Mm, I don't know.
What about... Please have decent attack. 91. Nope, not decent attack. In fact, very bad. It's like eight. This still kills Ariel Ace Life Orb. It's at 72 speed though, it's not faster. Are you freaking kidding me? This thing has zero speed EVs. It has to. Oh no, no, it's minus speed nature. Okay, well, that's that. <laughs> Yeah, so that doesn't work. Um, shit. Oh, man. Come on. I am playing with Dupes Claws, yes. Yeah, this Star after is slow as shit. That really sucks. Minus speed and like 12 IVs. Then Choice Scarf, it kills without the belt. No, it doesn't. Why are you just saying random shit? Oh, this is level 34. Let's we'll double check 35. So it's a little faster, but... Hype resistance berries? I don't have any. Man, um. Oh, I, I understand those emotes now, Drew. <laughs> okay, so. So the other thing... Yeah. Man, these Pokemon are just not very good. Um, I could scarf it, but then we need chip damage on it. I wonder if uh, Stealth Rocks is not enough. Yeah, not even close. Or at least a 76 to 92%. Oh, you're so bad, Ham. Why do you suck? <laughs> Me learning about freaking no EVs. Um, okay, so now we're back to potentially Crobat. Although Crobat doesn't kill either. Low punny fake out. Ah, oh, man, it's just the Giga Drain. If it crits, if Giga Drain crits, it'd be so great to just fake out and return it. The enemies do have max IVs, and for a lot of them, you kind of have to just assume the, the best nature. I don't know what the natures are, though. Um... I don't know how to deal with this damn Roserade. Even assuming that it doesn't have... Like, it doesn't use Weather Ball. Does that even matter? Like, Poison just devastates so much of our team. I mean, I guess... No, because, like, Matang, it'll still go for Weather Ball because Giga Drain is so bad. Matang takes a lot of damage from Weather Ball. Because we're in the rain. And it's essentially got Hydro Pump. Yeah. 
Yeah, crit hydro pump kills this. What about... This may be stupid. Does Armaldo... I mean, Armaldo's pretty bulky. Um... Yeah, no, that doesn't do enough. Damn. Can any mons learn Sunny Day or Sandstorm? Not that I know of. Not right now. I assume Tort won't work. Let's let's see. For Terra thirty five. So, yeah, Sludge Bomb, High Roll, Crit kills. So does Giga Drain. This thing is so fucking strong. Um. Charizard. Well, so... I'm trying to do it at level 35. So theoretically, we don't have Charmander. I mean, Charmeleon. And theoretically, we don't have Infernape. But... We might just have to rely on that. Did somebody ask for Bulby? Eviolite doesn't exist in this gen. Um, maybe. Does Blissey with Psychic do damage? It's a good question. Probably not enough, but it might be enough to get the chip we need and figure out what the fuck it's going for. We could also Thunder Wave it. But then then our Gardevoir counter is a little we weaker. Because we don't... Because then we start... <laughs> the problem is, if it goes for Giga Drain, it'll just start doing more damage. Although it should never go for Giga Drain unless it, like, desperately... I don't know how the AI works with recovery with that. But Sludge Bomb is is almost always more damage. But I guess if we Psychic it once and then switch to Crobat, assuming it doesn't get, you know, use the water move, then that might work. So maybe that is the play. I forgot that I had Psychic. So if we go... So we can still lead either foie gras or this thing. I'm I'm privy to this because of the uh, the resistance, and it's stronger, right? This thing is actually just like not very good. Yeah. So we can lead Milo, then we can switch to Blissey, hit a psychic. Recovery secondary effects don't impact the AI. Take your word for it. That's good to know, though. So, okay. So then we should be able to just Psychic... It would Blissey a couple times. Break it down. Kill it. Or Psychic and even switch here to Scope Lens Firo. Or <laughs> Scope Lens... Whatever, here. Okay, then maybe this isn't as difficult as I thought it was. I did already use the Shiny Stone, yeah. Um... Hence the Togekiss. Um, so that just leaves the Gardevoir then. Who has Psychic, Magical Leaf, Shadow Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. So theoretically, Blissey does that really well. The problem is, of course, that if we take too much damage, we can't kill the Gardevoir. But... Uh, man, we don't have a poison move on this, unfortunately. Um. But, wait, wait, wait. Does it have Dazzling Gleam? Damn. Okay, otherwise, Umbreon would be a great wall. 
Altaria might be good though. Psychic, Magical Leaf, Shadow Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. Uh, it's neutral, but Altaria does have great special defense. Never mind. I thought it did. Um... Bayleaf's pretty good. So, when it comes in on the Blissey, it's probably going to use Psychic. I guess I can always rest with Blissey, yeah? Teach Blissey rest. But then we need rest, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. Although that's probably fine. Rest, Shadow Ball, Psychic, Soft Boil, or uh, Seismic Toss. Yeah, we don't need these other moves. Okay. Um, so we got our three. I guess we'll bring Togekiss, because Togekiss is Wish Pash. We can always yawn. We can always do all sorts of shoot. Uh, and we can Moonblast it for the Spadef drop. That's fine. Um, so let's bring that. Gardevoir has buff speed. That's good to know. Jolteon will always bait Dazzling Gleam. It's a little risky to do Psychic and Shadow Ball if we don't guarantee it to have Psychic, because if it does Dazzling Gleam, then Jolteon just takes a huge chunk. But Crobat obviously resists Dazzling Gleam. We don't have a Poison move, which sucks. Um, you are useless. I guess I guess PZ is the other one. That's relatively good here. And Man, that Staraptor is so bad. We have unburden on this, right? Potential there. Or Extreme Speed Arcanine. I don't know. Um, this bait Shadow Ball. And is generally good to have all around, potentially. Hmm. Another hat. It would be way easier if we had a dark type that wasn't a wall. Um, Umbreon might just be good for wish passing. Does Umbreon wall the, um, like, how does Umbreon do? 95 spadef. Umbreon's actually not terrible into Roserade, right? It takes neutral damage. So I think we do that. Chimeco. Chimeco's not terrible either. Yeah, okay, I like Chimeco. Chimeco's a good all-around support. I agree with that. So let's do these ones here. These six, I guess. Um, Scald. So lefties, lefties are a must on these two. Uh, lefties is fine on you. Twisted Spoon. Um... That's fine. Kiss, you can have... Uh, we need to give you Expert Belt. Okay. Um, and you, we give... Actually, do we want Twisted Spoon on you?
Togekiss doesn't appear on the Pokeball? It's really weird. There it goes. Okay, um... Honestly, we should just get more lefties. <laughs> Yawn, Wish, Encore, Moonblast. We also have access to Roost if we want it. Okay, so we have no fake out users right now. Do I want that? Um, I could also set up Stealth Rocks to make our margins of error a little bit better, but whatever. Lefties, lefties, Expert Belt, lefties, Twisted Spoon, and let's go and give you... I guess... Oh... Uh... No. Man. Yeah, I, I need more lefties. Uh, we'll just give you wide lens for now, I guess. Okay. So let's give you guys Shadow Ball and Psychic. All right. Um, although, mm, okay. And that was the other one. And then we want Psychic on Blissey. And then I think we want Rest. For now, because we don't have Soft Boiled. Okay. Okay. Um... We only have Scald, that's fine. Seismic Toss, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Rest, Aerial Ace, Roost, Leaf Blade, Crunch. Recover, Discharge, Signal Beam, Tri Attack. Do we want, do we want Shadow Ball here on this guy? Probably, instead of Signal Beam. Okay, um, I don't need Roast on Kiss. Thunder Wave is a move that I'm entertaining the idea of putting on somebody. Because if we can Thunder Wave the guard or the, uh, then we can just bring in Chimeco and hit Shadow Ball, yeah. Um, Those moves are too good on Blissey. I think we do need rest on the off chance that something bad happens. So I do want a Thunder Wave this one here. Ah, we can't get rid of those moves though. The problem with Togekiss is that it doesn't know any of those moves. So if I get rid of them, I can't reteach them. But this is a stupid question, but how does he know the move sets for these trainers? There's like a, a damage calc that has these guys in here. So I could put it on PZ. Um, I think that makes sense, that's fine. And the question is, do I get rid of Discharge? Maybe I want Thunder Wave over Shadow Ball. So 80 is 160, Tri Attack is 120. I think, I think it's better to have Thunder Wave here than Shadow Ball. Okay, uh, let's not heal because I don't want to have to reburn this Milo. Does Guard have synchronized? Yes, but I don't care about that. Um, okay, let's heal this guy up. Alright, let's do it. You can get Shadow Ball later if you need it. I have Shadow Ball. That's how I taught it. Okay, um...
Here we go. Let's not run into any trainers along the way. What's up, Rizzolo? How you doing? Okay, over and around. Then we go over here. Then we go up here. Okay, that's most of the trainers avoided. Bought that guy already. These guys theoretically do not fight you. Bought this guy already. Will you rare candy? Ah, uh, yeah. Good call, thank you. That was unnecessary. <laughs> we go just leave that guy to his business we can go over here and here we are okay Maya um, what are my rules for rare candying in a nuzlocke uh, depends on the nuzlocke for this one because it's so long already I don't want to waste time grinding everything so it's just for Okay. Last one. We already beat Dennis, so we're fine if we beat this. Step one Unagi. Here we go. Here we go. Hope I did everything right. Lick a tongue. It's kind of stupid. Um, so I think we're just gonna go quickly and kill this with two skulls. Nice. Wonderful. That's a good burn. We're burn twins. Um, okay, no, no reason to prolong the inevitable. We'll just kill it now. What's up, Horty Mart? Thank you for the, uh, being here, I guess. All right. So far, so good. Um, so what comes out next? Presumably, the, uh, Roserade. And it probably goes for Sludge Bomb here. Ow. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it goes Sludge Bomb here. Nothing... I mean... Whatever. I actually think I would rather it poison me than um, paralyze me with Sun Spore. So it's not the end of the world if it poisons us here. But it makes things a little bit more annoying. Okay, no poison. Um, it might go for Sun Spore here, which is a little annoying. Uh, so we're just gonna Psychic. That's fine. So at least you won't do it to Crobat. Just don't get fully parried. Perfect. Alright, that should be more than enough damage. So, theoretically, this thing should always do Sludge Bomb or Mega Drain, right? It should never go for the uh, the water move. Ah, I'm so worried it does. So, you know what? I'm just going to stay in one more time. Okay, it's going for Sludge Bomb. I'll, I'll take that little bit of damage. I don't care about that. That's fine. Okay. So, now we know it's pretty safe. We're actually just going to stay in here, then. 
Is it better to rest here? I think it is. Rest, take two turns of double team, wake up, kill so that we're not paralyzed. Yeah. This is a little risky because we're um, opening ourselves up to crits. So we could end up with a lot worse. But I think I'd rather not be parried. That's 40 damage with a sludge bomb. I think this is fine. I guess the question is, is Seismic Toss doing more damage? Okay, we got this. We're fine. Blissey's busted. Absolutely busted. Yeah, okay, so we're actually at lower health this way. But I'm okay with that. It could be bad if uh, it crits here, but... That sucks. Um... I think Gardevoir can't kill this, though. So, like, a Psychic Crit on Gardevoir does, like, 33% at most. This is fine. Um, question is... don't want to have it start being spadef drops so i i think unfortunately we're just gonna have to do damage off with uh shadow ball and then figure out the rest later but i don't think a psychic crit ever kills here so um how much does shadow ball do is it better to nope shadow ball does more than 35 damage most of the time and it's a non-insignificant chance. I can rest to get to full HP back. Yeah, but then I'm just risking more crits and it's gonna start getting spadef drops. I just didn't know it. So I'd rather just bang something out here. 108 down to 74, so we were totally fine to a crit. We're actually totally down, fine for another crit. Spadef drop? Mm. Okay, so now that I know that it does that little damage, I'm actually going to rest now. Yep, there it is. So it's doing about 37 damage. So now it's at about 37 plus 17 damage is 60, so it's doing like 120 damage. So as long as we stay over 120, we're fine. Um, that Shadow Ball did freaking nothing though. Of course, it gets the Spadef drop, but we have Saren Grace and nothing. Um, so it seems to keep going for Psychic, so it's relatively safe to switch into Chimeco and then switch around, but I'm okay with staying in here going for a shadow ball again yeah about 120 with crit see or less that was what 59 49 uh 59 no 49 so it's about 100 with crit it's also going to run out of psychic pp eventually but she's going to get this Spadef drop, so I just know it. It actually would have made sense to switch to Trimeco just to shake off this Spadef drop, but whatever. Let's 
Spit F drop. Don't you forget about me. All right. Um, I don't know if another one kills, so I'm going to rest again. <laughs> That was a high roll. That was a really high roll. 122 down to 64. That was almost 60. It was 58 damage. That was a very high roll. Alright. So now I'm going to switch to Chingling here. And it's going to go for Shadow Ball, so we can shake off the uh, Spidef drop here. Alright. That's what I should have done before, but that's fine. And now we can Shadow Ball again. Lissy's really busted. The fact that this game is difficult at all is a testament to Dreano's team building. What a, what a dirty, dirty broken Pokemon. Cheater! Second turn, wake up, let's go. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not, but just in case you don't know, um, Rest has a set number of wake-up turns. It's always two. You sleep for two turns, and then you wake up every time. Okay, so that was a kill anyways. Whatever. All right. Woo! That is the Ace Trainers defeated. Um, is there anything else? Like... Nobody challenges me right as I walk into Veilstone or some bullshit. Nope. We certain about that? <laughs> All right. Sweet. Um, amazing. Still a start piece. Okay. Now Glyceor can get EQ and a Toxic Orb. Hell yeah. All right, we did it. We got to Veilstone. Is there a gift here by any chance? You got a Psychic Trainer, a couple dodgeable two encounters, and like three Gym Trainers before Maylene. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Well, um, like I said, I wanted to do a little bit of a short stream today so I don't get burnt out. Was was doing a lot yesterday and the day before. And I definitely felt myself slipping up at the end of the, the last Renegade Platinum stream. So I just want a couple days to like reset. So I'm going to end Renegade Platinum here now. I'm going to also... Um, I want to do a ranking of the final stage starters for YouTube. So you can stick around for that if you want. But I will be finishing Renegade Platinum now for the day. Chatting. <laughs> All right, thanks, Miss Moxie. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, I'm just going to take, like, a one-minute break uh, to go to the bathroom, and then I will be back, and we'll do that, record it for YouTube. So you can say hi to YouTube if you want. I don't know. All right, be right back. <laughs> 